Hello and welcome to Q.0's Fast Five Fridays. Today, we'll be looking at five of the top stories in auto news. Starting with number one, team. Well, okay, let me not say that. <laughs> Starting with number one, who says that? All right, anyways, Team Fordzilla P1. <laughs> team Fordzilla P1 concept intended to be the ultimate virtual racer is expected to feature in a forthcoming racing game in 2021. Ford also announces it will build a real life scale model by the end of the year. Ford and its team, Fordzilla Esports team have unveiled a world first in this year's GamesCon event, the ultimate virtual racing car designed with collaboration between Ford designers and the gaming community. Project P1 was created with 250,000 fan votes on Twitter at different design stages. Gamers decided on elements including seating position, cockpit style, and drivetrain before Ford designers worked up their interpretation of their belief. Ford exterior designer Arturo Arino emerged as victorious, winning the competition, and this is his design. Former Vice President and now Democratic Party presidential candidate Joe Kennedy. <laughs> All right, I gotta do that again. See, it's, it's a tongue twister, that whole thing. Because, like, when he becomes president, all the other stuff is not gonna matter. But right now, you gotta say all of the other stuff. Former vice president and now Democratic Party presidential candidate Joe Biden, try saying that three times fast, <laughs> took to Twitter to speed off in his forest green Corvette the other day. His 1967 Chevy Corvette sports a 327 cubic inch V8 making 300 horsepower, bringing you from a standstill to 60 in only 4.7 seconds. So, seems pretty cool. Yeah, it's a nice ride. All new Infiniti QX55 will be revealed to the world 1111 this year. And you guessed it, at 5.55 p.m. Pacific time though, on social media. So, off the heels of the FX, Infiniti is claiming they're the first ones to come out with the the sport, no, the SUV coupe, as they're like the FX. We did that first. We we the first ones to make it swoopy. So, anyways, they hope to enhance that stance and hit you with the QX55. It's due to hit showrooms in the beginning of next year, but for now, all we have is this little teaser. But there'll be more, you know, to see at 1111 this year. November 11th, so yeah, at 5.55, the QX55 will be revealed. Next up, the uber luxurious automaker, Rolls Royce. They're telling the world, I want to play a game. <laughs> With their new Wraith Cryptos edition. Deriving from ancient Greece, Cryptos refers to all that is conceived. Designed as an homage to the clandestine world of cryptology, this bespoke collection will be limited to only 50 wraiths. Hidden in plain sight on each wraith is a coded message denoted by four ciphers, developed in absolute secrecy in the Double R's headquarters in Goodwood, England. Only the CEO and the person who designed this this puzzle know the answer. So through the app, you can access you know all the um, the things you need to access to find the in the car, and then through the app. And when you submit your answers, then they'll let you know if you're right or not. And finally, I think let's talk about Jeep. Jeep has a lot going on this week. Well, actually, this month, maybe next month. I don't know. Coming soon. Be, you know, with this picture and the city, Agoneers making a comeback for 2021. And it's looking like it's gonna be big. We don't know if it's the Grand Wagoneer or just the Wagoneer, but we'll find out pretty soon. They've been slipping us these little detail shots like the Rolls Royce, it looks like, inspired um, infotainment controller. And the grill, if you've seen the grill, there's a shot of the grill as this metallic, you know, just dreamy, image you know it looks it looks amazing it looks futuristic it looks uh it looks shiny and new but we can see a little bit of the words it does say a little bit of wagoneer i think it says glear 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 so yeah that's the wagon so if you follow jeep on twitter you'll see that they've been teasing you know a lot of stuff but they've also been dropping trailers of uh of 
the Wrangler for EV. So they've converted the Wrangler to an electric vehicle. So thank God, because the, uh, the gas mileage it was getting was so dismal. So they needed that. <laughs> I think it's an, an effort to beat everyone at the super truck game. Because right now there is still no super truck that is like, well, there is no truck that's electric, you know, for the, the large scale market. Sure, there's there's crap going on with, with Boilinger or whatever. <laughs> Nobody's buying that. The other ones to get was easy, you know, was right there. None of the mainstream ones are making electric. In other news, Jeep revealed the Wagoneer concept and the 4xe Jeep Wrangler coming soon. The 4xe system is a hybrid system, new for Jeep, to improve fuel mileage and efficiency. Jeep has never had an electric vehicle before, and this is their first foray into the market with a hybrid system. Jeep's 4xe system is something they hope to implement across the Jeep lineup. There are plans for the Jeep Compass and the Jeep Renegade 4xe to be released and in showrooms by next summer. Both those models will have a 240 horsepower 4xe system. When it comes to the Wrangler, it'll have 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. As for the Wagoneer, it's back again for the 2021 model year. Revealed earlier this month in September 2020 was the Grand Wagoneer concept. On stage, few Jeep executives, including Ralph Giles, who is the head of design at FCA, talked about where they see the Wagoneer going, where they want it to go, and how luxury is on the plate. <laughs> so here it is. For me, I think it looks a lot like the Durango plus the Commander, if you remember that from me a few years back. But what Ralph Giles was talking about, it seems to come across on the interior. When you look inside, it definitely shows that they took attention and they paid attention to what consumers want and what consumers look for. Nowadays, technology and your smartphone and screens is all anybody really cares about. So when it comes to the 2021 Wagoneer concept, I say it's a step in the right direction. If upscale is what they're heading for and what they're looking towards, then I think this will help them get there, but they still have a little ways to go. Well, that's going to be it for this week's episode of Fast Five Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was entertaining for you. And I hope you'll come back next week for more. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so this way you don't miss out on any videos. Also hit the notification bell so you can know exactly when I post them. Alright, see you guys next time.